India's Nibe Group has started talks with US firm Sigsayer for setting up a SIG 716 production line in India for the Indian Army and exports. The Indian Navy is looking to procure two simulators for deep submergence rescue vehicle for training. Military intelligence unit have seized a staggering 488 meters of counterfeit army combat uniforms from a garment shop in Odisha. Despite the ongoing border talks between China and Bhutan, China is pressing ahead with the construction of three border villages in the disputed territory with Bhutan. Gas Turbine Research Establishment has released a request for information for manufacturing two sets of 2D offset duct and nozzles for dry cavalry engines from Indian vendors that will be used in Gata QCAF program. Bangladesh's far-right political party Bangladesh Islami Front has completely rejected a recent India Out social media campaign in Bangladesh. The campaign has sharpened after Sheikh Hasina, who is seen to be close to India, won a record fourth term in the recently concluded national elections. Indian officials have informed Bangladeshi counterparts that India is willing to share wide-spectrum capabilities in defense manufacturing, including the most sophisticated technologies. US Ambassador has said that India and United States should quickly look at co-development of military hardware for export, which will dissuade other countries from purchasing weapons from mutual adversaries of India and US. Turkey and Pakistan have joined forces on the development of air-to-air -air missiles, that involves sharing technology from Turkey's Gat Dogan and Pakistan's Fast 2 missile projects between the two partners. A Tejas Mark I aircraft equipped with an indigenously developed digital fly-by-wire flight control computer, successfully completed its maiden flight on 19 February, which has been indigenously developed by the Aeronautical Development Establishment for the Tejas Mark I-A. The maiden flight successfully tested all critical parameters and performance of the system, confirming its readiness for further integration and testing. Palnashik Division has completed modifications on stations number 5 and 6 of a Su-30 aircraft, that will enable captive flight trials of the Rudram-3 long-range air-to-surface missile. It weighs 1.6 tons, and packs a 400 kg warhead, and an impressive 600 km range when it is launched from an 11 km altitude, to destroy enemy radar installations bunkers airstrips and hangars. The Indian Air Force and Indian Army are conducting extensive evaluation of the 15 Limited Series production Pratch on Light Combat Helicopters, before signing a major production contract for 145 units. To secure this deal, HAL has been tasked to incorporate user-suggested minor modifications, that includes anti-tank guided missiles, tube-launched loitering munitions, integrating a locally developed 20mm cannon, and air-to-air -air variant of DRDO's very short-range air defense system. Despite being in development, the Tejas Mark II has garnered interest from several countries, for which the development trials will follow a tight timeline, prioritizing basic air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons integration before starting production, that will avoid repeating the delays that plagued the Tejas Mark I program. The Indian Air Force has committed to procure around 120 Tejas Mark II units, with 80 more units in second batch, and Vietnam, Algeria and several African countries, as well as former Soviet states are interested to replace their aging Russian origin aircraft and they are finding Western aircraft costly, and the Tejas Mark II bridges this gap. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>